Hello to all our players, coaches, parents, supporters and staff. Chairman Stewart here, just giving you an update now that the season is well underway. We've completed the full range of rugby activities with last weekend's game by the Rhinos. So all our sections are now in action and underway. I'm pleased to report that participation levels are excellent and overall spirits are high. So well done to all involved in getting us back into some kind of normality. My message is a series of highlights of current developments and there's more detail available in a newsletter which will be on your email in the next day or two. First of all, we're suffering from a shortage of referees in general in rugby and particular in the Thames Valley. So if you are interested in taking up the whistle rather than playing or perhaps as well as playing, then we'd be very pleased to support you in that activity. There are courses available locally next month. It's great to see that several of our current members have responded to this challenge. Justin Wheeler, Mark Alexander, John Kelly and a few others. So thanks to them and do let me know if you want to support our refereeing resource in the area. On a different note, we have a generous offer from two of our members, Rob Clark and Andy Sylvie uh, at Simply Life and Mortgages. They're offering you the opportunity to save money on your mortgage arrangement fees and to give a commission share back to the club. This applies to new mortgages on new purchases or remortgages for existing houses. So if you're interested in knowing more details, then contact Andy Sylvie, who's leading on this for SLM. Uh, if you're looking for some office space, then the, we have some capacity at the club. The office block at the back of the clubhouse has recently been reorganized. We have two small offices, well kitted out for all usual modern activity. Uh, nice car parking, use of the gym and uh, very local for your sports or business. Reasonable prices are available, so have a chat with me or with Andy Arter for a quick look round and the financial arrangements. We're close to the next pre-match lunch, which is shown on the fixture list as a chairman's lunch. This is Saturday the 30th of October, our home game for the first against Stowe on the Wold. Just to be clear, chairman's lunches are open to all members. It's your chance to get along and uh, get a nice warm up before the game, meet your friends, enjoy one of Gina's dinners and generally get into the swing of things. All bookings are through the club shop. Scroll to the events and tours section and you'll find the booking arrangements there. £15 for a two course lunch starting at one o'clock on Saturday week. We're always looking to get the best talent onto our club leadership team. So I'm pleased to report on two new additions. Uh, on the communications front, we have Heather Allen, who's picked up the baton now that Toby Feldman has stood down. Uh, Heather's getting into her stride and she's very keen to hear from you if you have any stories or newsworthy items. Uh, the other new recruit to the group is Richard Hall. Uh, he's joining in with Craig to support our sponsor arrangements with both existing sponsors and new sponsors. These make an important contribution to the financial stability of the club. We wish Rich every success in that endeavor. If you work for a company that may be interested in sponsoring a broad-based community sports club, then please let Richard know. You may not be aware, but thanks to the uh, efforts of the Reading Radio Amateurs, our good friends, we have now a highly professional external PA system, which means we can broadcast messages across the whole grounds. What we need now is a team of match day announcers. I've given it a go with mixed results, so I'm sure you can do better. Let's hear from anybody who wants to give it a go, understand the system, which is very simple, and then bring some animation to our Saturday and Sundays. We have um, struck water at Home Park. This is news from uh, Dragon Drilling, our contractors, and Andy Sylvie, 
our groundskeeper. This is part of the scheme to improve the irrigation of our pitches by running our own borehole water uh, through an irrigation system. So first stage has gone well. We are hoping that by next spring we should be in a position to provide cost-effective irrigation across the whole of the home park grounds. So that's the highlights from me. There's more details on your email and just remains to say a big thanks to all the coaches, members, supporters and parents who've got us to where we are again. Your commitment is highly valued. We hope you're enjoying your involvement. Thanks a lot. Okay, see you soon at the club, I hope. Goodbye.